Hi everyone. Here is my recently bought the Monolith M1060 Planner headphone from Monoprice. I ordered in uh, Friday and it come in Saturday. It's very fast shipping for uh, very little money. That's why I love Monoprice. Uh, they have a very high quality with, for a very low price. So that's why I ordered. I have ordered many headphones from Monoprice before and I like it. That's why I ordered this. And it comes with a, inside the big box, it comes the also a big lunch box. Oop, not lunch box, a, a pouch or a storage box, which is the headphones inside here. And it is a zipped uh, box, and you open it, and here's the headphone. It's pretty. And up here, it uh, have a little pouch right here, which uh, you can put your accessory there, your headphone, and some other headphones, or any uh, more cables there. And then with a little plastic bag with a Thank you for your order card in there. And here's a little more information there. And also the wire. <clears throat> Sorry. And here is the cable that uh, for the headphone itself. It is a very uh, nice cable. It's very soft, breaded, and the bread is not harsh. It's very soft uh, material. I really like it, and it terminate in a L shape, 3.5 millimeter jack. There's gold plate, and uh, it has a very little stress relief here. That. Which is, um, I'm not worried about it so much because I can unscrew it in case it fell. I can just cut it and resort it and screw it back on and all done. Probably less than 30 minutes. And uh, it doesn't come with a, a quarter inches adapter. But uh, if you want to use it, here's how it looks when you connect to the uh, adapter. And note that it has a space here. In case you have uh, a, a cell phone that uh, have a very thick case or a player with a case, this is how it looks when you connect to a phone with a case. So it's very nice. And it comes up to the headphone, up, up. Here's the split. Come with a, a soft uh, plastic there. With a sub plastic, you can move all the way up to tighten up when you wear the headphone. And <coughs> here is the the uh, jack that connect to your headphone. I'm not sure what it is. It probably an MMCX that they use for the uh, coaxial or RF connector. It is. It's tiny, and this is how you connect to the uh, headphone itself. It have a mark L and R there, but it's very tiny. It's very hard to see, especially with my eyes. So it's just easy, just like that. And also easy to pull it off. But I would advise not to do it very often because it seems like the, yeah, the, the, the connection is very, very tiny. That's how you connect to the headphone itself and here is the headphone it builds very nice and with wood housing uh, it's very sharp so you can tell it is a metal and all this it's very sharp and uh, notice that the uh, when you connect to the headphone, it goes straight to the uh, headband. And many, many headphones nowadays, when they do a connection, they put it more like angle like that, so it uh, clear up of your shoulder. But this, uh, this one, they put it straight down there, 
but because the uh, the jack is very short, so I don't have any uh, problem uh, touching my shoulder. So that's probably a good thing. And here is the headband. This is a metal, metal, and it connects to the headband with a, a screw, a Phillips screw right here. Yeah, so I, I guess you can unscrew it if needed. And this is metal, this is a rubber, I mean plastic, metal, plastic, and this you can adjust it like that on both sides, like that, with a plastic, I think it's a plastic band right here, with a little bump inside, little tiny bumps in there, so I think they give a space so you can, uh, it doesn't touch all, you know, Every, I mean, it's, it just touch on certain spot on your head only, which is I, I found it uh, kind of annoying because of the bump. You know, if I wear for a long time, that's kind of hurt. And uh, that's the headband, same on the other side. And the clamping, it's it's not that bad, but it's harder than uh, my other headphone. So here it is, and here's the ear pad. It's uh, made of, uh, I think it is not a, a leather. I think it's probably a protein leather or a fake leather. And it attached to the headphone by a glue. See that? By glue. And notice that they use a very thick uh, piece of material here to, to uh, protect the uh, dirt or anything that can fall to the driver. So it's a very thick piece of material with a, it's separate from the, the, uh, the ear pad itself and there's a metal piece right here too separate from the, the, the wood housing and here's the back it hold up by four uh, little tiny uh, Phillips screw and let me just take off some screw to show what's inside Sorry for the waiting. Uh, this it is, and this is the uh, the grill. It's a metal grill, and here they have a, a thick foam, black foam right there. And here's the the driver itself. Here's the driver. It looks different from uh, the Hi-Fi Man HE four hundred I. And down here is the connector, and see how thin it is, right there. And if uh, think about modify it or do something with it, and you want to use the uh, 3.5 millimeter jack or uh, 2.5 millimeter jack, and if you connect to it, see how long it is. It's very long that's probably why the monoprice chose to use the uh, mmx connector there okay and i think that's about the headphone that's it and about the the ear pad the ear pad is very supple very soft made out of uh, leather probably a fake leather the foam inside is very soft it's an angle it's thin on the front and thick on the back and the opening is kind of big look my hand it uh, it's a big but I hope I can make it a little bit bigger probably a little bit bigger maybe better because some of this touch my ear if I put it on because the cramping is kind of high and also because the bump on the top like that you know I can wear it for the most uh, two hours I have to you know, relax for a while and put it back on So that's about that's about it. What else uh, you want to know about the sound? All right, how about the sound? I did some uh, sound tests the other day with my other headphones, and uh, and in short, it's uh, very good. It's better than any of the headphones that I have, so that's probably the good thing. 
And um, how about the bass? The bass on this headphone is there. It is um, it is not very loud like uh, some like uh, Beats by Dre or the Sony Extra Bass uh, headphone. Um, but the bass is very fast, very clean and clear. I can hear the note, uh, each note very, very clean, very clear, and uh, each note uh, diff sounds different from the other notes. So it uh, separate them very clear. And even though it's not very loud, but I you know, can hear it very well. Uh, so I really like it. And it comes down very deep too, I mean very low too. And it doesn't bleed to the uh, to the mid or the uh, something like that, and it sounds very good about about the bass. Um, it's not like some other headphone that I have. You know, the bass sound almost the same, and no matter what note it is, it sounds similar. But this one, it can separate them, and I can hear clearly. You know, the high note, the low notes, I can hear it very well. So I I think that's a good part of it, and uh, the mid. The mids on this one is very good compared to my other headphone. It's very good, and I do some recording with uh, my voice and some lady's voice on it, and it sounds very close to the original voice more than the other headphone. It's not quite the same. It it sounds slightly different, but uh, it's very close. So I would say it's very good. It, the the voice is not very forward or or very. It's not like a V-shape that you can't really hear the the sound of the uh, the vocal. It sounds very sweet, very natural, very soft. I mean, not harsh, but uh, smooth. I would say. Uh, so, but if you have a very uh, very nice voice, you know, it will come out very sweet. So, that's the good thing about it. But uh, it's a very revealing headphone. If you have a bad recording or bad noise, bad voice. It will show, but if you have a very good one, it will also show too. So, when I listen to a very nice uh, recording or very nice vocal, it kind of soothes me. I I really satisfied with it, and it kind of addicting. You know, I can't just stop listening to it and make me listen to my old song, my old song all over again. I really like it. I spend like uh, this four or five days with it, and I love it. Uh, how about the high? The high because I'm old. I'm sixty years old, so I have a trouble listening. Uh, I mean, hearing anything above uh, ten kilohertz, and from eight kilohertz up, and uh, kind of uh, uh, down and down until you know I can't, I can't really hear anything above that twelve uh, kilohertz. So, um, I like some headphone that uh, give me a little more high, so I can hear the you know the sparkling noise and. The sound stage seems like open up a little if they're they're a little more high on it, which is this one is not bad. The high is still there, but it's not as much as I want. Uh, the high is very smooth and no harsh, no s sound there, and uh, but uh, I would like a little more. So I w I'm thinking that uh, probably because the uh, the pad down here is very thick, so maybe someday in the future I may probably peel it off and uh, replace it with something. Very thin like this, see if you know the the high will come out a little more to my taste. Uh, but if not, then well, too bad. Can help there. <clears throat> so that's about the high. But the, the high is very good. Uh, not as uh, much as I want, but it's there. So it's no harsh, no as sound, and so that's probably a good thing about it. <clears throat> and uh, the sound stage. Sound stage on this one, there's sound stage on it, but it's not very wide like some other headphone that I have. But it's still coming like you know a little more outside of the headphone itself. But it's not very wide, you know. You can hear it from from the little bit outside the headphone. And uh, how about the separation? The separation of the sound, it's very very good because it's a very clear and clean uh, headphone. You, I can. I can easily hear where's the instruments coming from from here from there from there from there from there I can clearly uh, I can pinpoint where the sounds coming from it, it, that is better than any headphone that I have you know I can pinpoint where it is and uh, always coming from the same instrument coming from the same spot and uh, across the you know, the left and right I can 
hear it when the drum, when they hit the drum from left to right, I can hear it from moving from one side to the other very well. So I think the separation on this headphone is phenomenal. And that's probably the best part of this headphone, the clear and clean. So you can hear it uh, very well on uh, where it is. And uh, I think that's about it. I don't know what else that I want to say about it. I think that's it. Uh, do I want to return it or, re or sell it? I don't think so. I want to keep it. One thing because I really like the headphone that has the wood on it. The wood is my, it have a, a, a spot in my heart because I really like wood. This is not a, anything special. It's just a plain wood. And I don't know if they, it should do anything to the sound because it's just a little bit housing on it. And it's an open back and front headphone. So I don't know if the wood would do anything to the sound. Or maybe, I don't know. And I think that's it. And thank you for watching. Bye.